a relay network is just like some servers or some network which allows like to broadcast faster. I think the first one who like Matt Corello started with a fast Bitcoin relay network, which was later replaced by fiber. Basically, the idea is, again, to improve propagation. And at the time, block took quite a lot of time to propagate, like long seconds. And that was when blocks were like 20 kilobytes, 40 kilobytes. And who cares? Let's stop here. Like, who cares how long it takes for blocks to propagate? In the case of Bitcoin, if I'm a miner or I'm a pool and I mined a new block and I propagate it to the network, this time, this propagation time is a critical time because during this time, this is the window of opportunities in which forks happen, right? Somebody on the other side of the world might mine a new block, which is competing with mine. It's not on top of mine because he hadn't heard about it yet, right? If he would have received it, he would mine on top of it, but he didn't. So this is about creating forks and kind of like afterwards one would be orphaned and the chain would continue, but it destabilizes the consensus. It makes it less profitable, all these kind of things. By the way, if like Uri lets me sort of chime in for a second, I think he's kind of like underselling the value here where right. it's like the related networks are like not even so much about just like an intermediary. I think the starting point is to like understand sort of what's the status quo. You just like send the block to someone and they send it to someone else and you hope that like eventually it like lands at the right place and so like the right place is the other mining pools so if you like you mine the block the most crucial part for you is that like other pools get it and then they start mining on top of it as soon as possible whereas like we said if they don't they're gonna mine in parallel and like you, you're gonna have a conflict and it's like maybe like they lose maybe you lose but at least one of the participants loses and so kind of like the relay networks instead of doing kind of this like uh, wave style propagation, it's more like one hop propagation where you like send it to a relay network and then the block is sent directly to like all the other relay network participants.